What's up, YouTubers? Hardworker12 with you here. What you are seeing on your beautiful screen is some footage from a Subaru dealer located in Odessa, Ukraine. I took a trip to Odessa in January of this year, which now seems like a million years ago to be able to uh, hop on an international flight and go live life in a normal way. But while I was there, my love of Subarus led me to check out a local dealer. Let's go inside. And it was a relatively small dealer. Car dealerships around the world, I've been to them in a few different countries, um, for the most part are very different from how they are in the U.S. I'm sure Subaru doesn't sell anywhere near as many units in the Ukraine as it does in the United States. But the way car dealers function in general is just different. Normally, they won't have anywhere near the inventory of a U.S. car dealer, and you'll end up uh, testing out a car and then ordering one. That seems to be typically how it is. They still have children's play areas, as you can see. Uh, and they only had three models available for sale. They sold Foresters, they sold Outbacks, and they still had the previous body style Outback even though this was taken in um, January of 2020. I think uh, the rest of the world gets the new Outback for 2021. And then they also had the Crosstrek, which they call the XV. This is their Peugeot portion. The Subaru dealer was hooked up to a Peugeot dealer, which I found kind of interesting. This was a lot more common in the U.S. back before Subaru started selling so many cars. Here's the price on a Forester. 875,500 Ukrainian Gribna. And I have no idea what that means. I never could figure out the um, exchange rate. There is sort of a little brochure, but it was still showing the 2019 model, which I thought was kind of weird, even though it was January. Maybe they were still selling 19s. I don't know. This, I think, was one of their demo cars. And you'll notice, so this is a previous generation Outback, but it has a camera on uh, the passenger side rear view mirror. Not quite sure what that's all about. We don't get that in the US. I think this was probably a demo they used for test drives. It had plates on it. And then interestingly, I'm gonna show in a second, it had some uh, pretty dedicated looking snow tires on there. I don't know if the dealer put that on or if that's just how they send them. Uh, there's no camera on the driver's side mirror. So yeah, this was probably like a demo that you'd go test drive and then uh, place your order for the color and the equipment features that you actually wanted and wait for the car. Uh, like I said, that's typically how it's done. And here is a Subaru XV. When this car first came out in the U.S. back in the 2013 model year, it was called XV Crosstrek. And then I think around 2015 or 2016, they dropped the XV and just called it Crosstrek. But for the rest of the world, it's pretty much just called XV. And this one, as you just saw, has the dedicated snow tires on it as well. So that was my visit to a Ukrainian Subaru dealer and a Peugeot dealer, although I didn't look so closely at the Peugeots. Not a lot to see, smaller dealer, but it was very nice, very clean, and missed traveling. Have a great day. You hungry? I'm down. So what I'm gonna do is put this in the... Fucking voiceover, dude. Post production. Yeah. Keep it quality. So I'm not rousting these uh, Ukrainians. <laughs>